presented by Defense Post. In an era defined by hypersonic threats, swarms of autonomous drones, and high-speed ballistic missiles, the need for modern, layered air and missile defense systems is more urgent than ever. Among the most trusted and battle-tested systems in the world is the Patriot Missile System, a staple of US and Allied air defense strategy. Now, in a strategic move that reflects growing global tensions and an evolving threat landscape, the U.S. Army has confirmed it is expanding its Patriot Pac-3 MSE systems from 15 to 18 battalions. This decision not only enhances U.S. homeland and forward-deployed protection, but also sends a clear message to rivals like China, Russia, and North Korea. What is the Patriot Missile System? The Patriot, Phased Array Tracking Radar to Intercept of Target, system is a long-range, all-altitude, all-weather air defense solution developed by Raytheon. Designed to detect, track, and destroy incoming tactical ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, drones, and advanced aircraft, the Patriot system has been in active service since the 1980s and has undergone multiple upgrades. It gained global attention during the Gulf War and has since become a symbol of advanced missile defense capability. The system consists of the N-MPQ-65 radar system, the Engagement Control Station ECS, multiple launching stations, typically mounted on trucks, and various interceptor missiles, including PAC-2, PAC-3, and PAC-3 MSE. PAC-3 MSE, the most advanced variant. The PAC-3 MSE, Missile Segment Enhancement, represents the latest evolution in the Patriot Interceptor family. It is designed specifically for countering advanced ballistic and maneuvering threats with greater precision, speed, and range than its predecessors. Some key features include a two-pulse solid rocket motor, which gives it greater range and altitude compared to the original PAC-3. Hit-to-kill capability, meaning it uses kinetic energy to directly collide with and destroy incoming threats, instead of relying on a proximity warhead. Enhanced maneuverability with larger control fins and better propulsion for mid-course correction. Greater interceptor capacity, with up to 16 PAC-3 MSE missiles loaded per launcher, compared to 4 PAC-2s, allowing simultaneous engagements of multiple threats. PAC-3 MSE has become the missile of choice for high-threat environments and is particularly effective against short- to medium-range ballistic missiles like Russia's Iskander or North Korea's KN series missiles. Why expand from 15 to 18 Patriot battalions? The U.S. Army's decision to increase from 15 to 18 active Patriot battalions is rooted in a number of strategic and operational realities. 1. Reinforcing NATO and the European Defense Shield Russia's invasion of Ukraine has reshaped Europe's defense posture. U.S. Forces, along with NATO allies, have rapidly expanded missile defense deployments across Europe, especially in frontline states such as Poland, Romania, and Germany. Increasing the number of Patriot battalions ensures that the U.S. can bolster existing forward-deployed units, protect critical logistics hubs, and provide rotational support for NATO exercises and crises. 2. Countering threats in the Indo-Pacific China's growing arsenal of advanced missiles, including the DF-21D and DF-17 hypersonic glide vehicles, has increased the urgency for a credible, layered missile defense network in Asia. Similarly, North Korea's repeated ballistic missile launches, including its new KN-23, KN-24, and KN-25 missiles, have driven allies like South Korea and Japan to boost their own defenses. More U.S. Patriot units mean more flexibility to deploy or rotate assets into high-risk regions such as Guam, Okinawa, and the Philippines, helping establish a resilient deterrence architecture across the Indo-Pacific. 3. Supporting Integrated Layered Defense Strategy The U.S. Missile Defense Doctrine emphasizes a layered, integrated approach that combines systems like 
THAD, for Exoatmospheric Intercepts. Aegis BMD, Sea-Based Defense. PAC, 3 MSE, Terminal High Altitude and Mid-Range. And NASAMS or IRIS-T, for Short Range, Urban Defense. By expanding the number of PAC, 3 MSE units, the U.S. strengthens the mid-tier in this layer defense, which is critical for stopping threats that leak through or evade outer layers. Technical Specifications of PAC-3 MSE Specification Detail Max Range 60, 100 km Max Altitude 35 km Interceptor Type Hit to Kill Kinetic Impact Missile Guidance Active Radar Plus Inertial Threat Types Ballistic Missiles, Cruise Missiles, Drones, Aircraft Speed Mach 4 5 plus launcher capacity up to 16 interceptors per launcher the hit to kill accuracy of pac 3 mse allows it to completely neutralize warheads in flight rather than just damaging them which is crucial against nuclear or chemical payloads the increased speed and mobility also mean that it can engage maneuverable targets with a high success rate real world deployments and successes PAC-3 MSE has already seen action and testing success in multiple theaters. In Saudi Arabia, PAC-3 MSE interceptors were used to down Houthi ballistic missiles and drones targeting infrastructure. In Israel, similar technology forms the basis of the David Sling system, which has been credited with multiple successful intercepts. During testing in 2023, PAC-3 3 MSE hit a simulated ballistic missile flying at Mach 6 with pinpoint accuracy, demonstrating its effectiveness against hypersonic-like threats. Global Demand and U.S. Export Strategy The U.S. has also authorized foreign military sales of the PAC-3 MSE to a growing number of trusted allies. Japan South Korea Poland Germany Romania, Taiwan, Sweden, Australia. These sales are not just economic decisions, they reinforce the global security architecture the U.S. aims to build with allies, creating interoperable missile defense networks across continents. Strengthening the shield. The expansion from 15 to 18 Patriot battalions is more than a numerical boost. It represents a deeper strategic shift by the U.S. military toward readiness, flexibility, and deterrence in an increasingly volatile world. From the skies over Eastern Europe to the island chains of the Pacific, the PAC-3 MSE serves as both shield and sword, deterring aggression and protecting lives. As new threats emerge, hypersonics, drone swarms, eye-assisted weapons, the PAC-3 3 MSE will remain a core part of America's missile defense umbrella. With its cutting-edge precision, speed, and integration capabilities, it's not just a weapon, it's a statement, the U.S. is ready. Stay tuned to Defense Post for more updates on missile defense, emerging threats, and global military developments.